Samsung Electronics, a world leader in advanced semiconductor technology. Today, broke ground for a new semiconductor research and development complex in Gyeong, Korea, aiming to extend its leadership in state-of-the-art semiconductor technology. Samsung Electronics plans to invest about Korean 120 trillion by 2028 for the complex in an area covering about 109,000 square meters within its Gyeong campus. The new facility will lead advanced in research on next-generation devices and processes for memory and system semiconductors, as well as development of innovative new technologies based on a long-term roadmap. Today's groundbreaking ceremony was attended by Samsung Electronics Vice Chairman J.Y. Lee, President and CEO Ki Hyun Gyeong, President of the Memory Business Chung Bae Ri, President of the Foundry Business Xiong Che, and President of the System LSI Business Young In Park, along with more than 100 employees. Our new state-of-the-art R&D complex will become a hub for innovation where the best research talent from around the world can come and grow together," said President Kei hyun Gyeong, who also heads the Device Solutions Division. We expect this new beginning will lay the foundation for sustainable growth of our semiconductor business. With the establishment of the new R&D facility, Samsung Electronics is seeking to overcome the limits of semiconductor scaling and solidify its competitive edge in semiconductor technology. Samsung Electronics Gyeong Campus, located south of Seoul near the DS Division's Hwasong Campus, is the birthplace of the world's first 64 megabytes DRAM in 1992, marking the beginning of the company's semiconductor leadership. The new Gyeong R&D facility, together with the R&D line in Hwasong and the world's largest semiconductor production complex in Pyeongtaek, is also expected to elevate the synergy among Samsung's three main semiconductor complexes in the metropolitan area. After the ceremony, Vice Chairman J.Y. Lee visited the Hwasong campus to meet with employees of the DS division, where they discussed ways to promote innovation within the company. At a separate meeting with executives of the DS division, discussions involved current issues in the global semiconductor industry progress of next-generation semiconductor technology R&D, and ways to secure technology to expand semiconductor leadership. 